Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl Danny Royal from DannyRoyal.com and I wanted to pop on or pop up and do a quick video. Um, earlier I got a chance to have a conversation with the leader and everybody has their own opinions about different things that are taking place within the earth. Everything, everybody has their own opinion about what's taking place in the government, what's taking place with the, with the V sees with the uh pandemic with the covid with the you know just everything every single thing it's a lot of different things and i brought up a few things to this leader's um awareness and they actually got the vc and so I had a conversation with them and I said a lot of times people move not because they are aware of what's going on, but they move out of fear. And their statement was, I'm not, I was, I didn't move in fear or I wasn't scared, you know, that to, to do it. So I did, that's why I did it, you know, and I'm like, okay, cool. But... They then followed that statement up with, it's scary. And I stated, and I said, well, if it's scary, whether you were scared when you got the jab or not, oftentimes people move out of fear but they stated that they moved and they obtained the jab due to uh employment you know reasoning and i said let me ask you a question as a leader as a leader how number one what would you tell your con congregation they were open to giving them the option to go ahead with it if they felt they needed to, uh, simply because they had got the jab. And so I'm like, okay. Okay, so oftentimes if the leader gets it, then the flock's going to get it unless they have a different understanding of, you know, such things, right? So then, that was in my mind. So then, I also said, hey, well, let me, let me, let me raise this question to you. As a leader of the church, in the church, right? At what point do you do your research... At what point do you dig a little bit deeper? At what point do you go to God to ask him for a full understanding as to what's going on in the spirit realm and in the natural? So, I just was like, okay, well, this is going on. This is some of the information that I have because a lot of information is right there in front of our faces. The problem is, is we don't look and we don't want to look, you know, some of us are scared or some of us maybe don't just don't even care. But as a leader, I said, hey, you know, this is just a test run, right? And if this is just a test run and people have operated and moved out of fear, help me understand that. When the actual time comes where there is a new order of a world and there is an actual mark of the beast or a chip that will be implanted into your forehead or into your right hand, arm, or what have you, how will you respond then? Will you take the mark because you have to go to work? 
knowing that it's not good for you according to the scriptures as a believer? Or will you continue to press on and contend for the faith knowing that Yeshua HaMashiach has you? And so they were like, well, of course I'm not going to take the mark, you know, or of course I'm not going to do that, you know. Like, if I had the option to do it and I know that that's what it is, I'm not going to do that. And I said, well, how do you know? You got the jab and you were not fully aware of what was going on behind the scenes and still what's going on now. What it consists of, what's into it, amongst other things. Your mindset in, at this moment is that, I, I mean, I don't believe that or... No, you know, that's not true. The Bible says that the Antichrist will fool the very elect if it were possible. Thank God that it's not possible. But the word also says that in the end time, during the time of the mark of the beast, that people won't be able to buy nor sell. And so if that's one leader that I had a discussion with, I can only imagine the plethora of leaders, the plethora of leaders who won't stand. I can only imagine the the plethora, plethora, I'm sorry, the plethora of leaders who are afraid to stand up or afraid to speak the truth or acknowledge Christ with their lips and their hearts really be far from him. I could only imagine. And this is why God is raising up people who, and it's not to, to, to come up against this leader as an individual. I constantly will continue to be in prayer for this leader. However, it felt good to get a different standpoint from a leader who has actually received that jab. Due to everything going on in the world today. Even showed them videos of a video of in that specific area from the jab. That if you put a magnet there, that the magnet is going to stick. Some it did, some it didn't. For different reasons. So my thing is, when the time actually does come and it's no longer a test run, who's going to stand? Will you, excuse me, will you be a leader that stands? Because at this point, it's not enough to say, oh, well, I don't believe that. Oh, well, I trust this, these voices and I trust these voices and they know what they're talking about and this is that and the third no why do we give men that much responsibility for our lives it is our jobs to go do our research the bible says that the people perish for the lack of knowledge and for the information that sits in front of our faces not only that we are supposed to know a God who is just who knows all about everything and he will speak to you if you if you go to him about whatever it is you cannot we as leaders period in the body of Christ cannot settle for safe we cannot settle for what we feel like is right or what we feel like they know doctors know preachers know pastors know whatever we cannot put our trust in man it is our job to go to the source the source will let you know what it is and what it ain't it will let you know what's going on and what's not and like i stated to them I said, I am not political. I am not into all of these things. But the Holy, but the Holy Spirit intervened and he began to deal with me and he began to use me. And I believe that he did that because I was open to the truth. There is a truth that is around that is not being said that needs to be said. And for all those prophets 
and, 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 and for all of those mouthpieces that God is using and to all those people who are becoming more awakened to what's going on within our world, whether it be the government system, whether it be the church, whether it be in science, whether it be in the hospitals or what have you, those people who are becoming aware and are actually acting on what wisdom they have, kudos to you. But for those leaders who are in the church, who are welcoming in what God is totally against, shame on you. God is going, I'm telling you, God is, God is judging. He's going to judge. He is not playing. He is tired. He is moving those people who have voices out of the way, who never said anything, won't say anything. I even went as far as asking them, hey, well, do you know if this specific person took the jab and they're supposed to be a high, a high, uh, uh, they supposed to be a big time preacher. I said, well, do, do you know if they took it? No, I don't know. Then they began to say, well, I went to this specific church and this pastor, and she's a well-known so-and-so, such and such. She was saying, hey, you should take it, you know, but I'm not going to tell you to take it or not take it. However, you know, um, I took mine. So where is the standard? Are we doing things because somebody else did it? Are we doing things because we know what's really going on? Are we doing things because we're scared? I mean, what is it? Because it is time for the true leaders to stand up. It's not enough to go to church on Sundays. It's not enough just to go to go, uh, just to pay your tithes. It's not a, it's not, your tithes. Your tithes. It's not enough. And then we were having a communication where they were saying it's several people who will not be going back into the church building all across the world because they're going to be choosing to go to church from home. Where is our faith? What are we doing? I mean, this is if this is just a test, when the actual time comes... Like, I mean, really. Y'all, we must stay aware. We must stay mindful. We must stay extra vigilant and all alert. As the bus says, if you see any suspicious suspicious items, please notify the, the bus operator immediately. And at this point, Jesus is the bus operator. And if you see anything that is suspicious, please notify him. And go to him. Try the spirit and see if it's of God or not. Don't take my word for it. Notify the bus operator of this video and say, Hey, Father, Yeshua HaMashiach, what's going on? Make me aware of what's going on because I don't want to be lost when things hit the fan and those people who have moved in fear at this point guess what when things start coming about due to God's judgment they're not going to be able to stand only unless the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous avail and God grants grace and mercy in which he has over and over again thus far So, oh, and once again, they said, well, I don't believe that God will bless us with a, with something that's going to help us and, and keep the death rates down. If I said, well, how do you know that that was from God? I said, do you know that the enemy is the prince of the air? Do you know that this is where he is able to roam, move freely right now? He can't do it without, he has to go to God first still. But do you understand the times we're living in? I said, Lord, help us, Jesus. And I said, you know what? 
They didn't believe what I was saying. They didn't believe. And I need you to understand for all those leaders who have been speaking the truth, who have been speaking up, who have been speaking with us, whether it's from a dream, a vision, you know, the word itself. Keep doing what you're doing in the name of Yeshua Hamashik, because I promise you, he's going to honor us for our faithfulness. He's going to honor us for seeking him. He's going to honor us for standing. He's going to honor us. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. They did not believe what I was saying at all. And and that's fine. But this is what I told them. I said, hey, you have now been warned and you are held accountable for what you know. When you don't know, God can't hold you accountable. But when you have literally seen evidence, when you have literally heard truth and you still chose not to believe, you have now chosen the path that you want to go down. You have now chosen where you stand. You have now chosen your way. And if that's you, woe unto you. I urge you to go to God and ask God, Lord, what is it really? So that you can at least have a chance of understanding what's up. But you are not, but once you find out wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to any magnitude and capacity, understand this, that you are now held accountable for what you know. Y'all, I just went into a rant, into a tangent, y'all. But I need y'all to understand I'm really, really adamant about what I'm adding up, adamant about. I'm really passionate about what I'm passionate about. And I don't believe that the Most High Yah has given me these things by accident. I don't believe that he's placed things in my spirit by accident. I am not discouraged about whether somebody believes or do not believe what thus saith Yah through my lips or what he says, period, through other people's voices. The proof is in the pudding, and I promise you, God is uncovering things, and things will be revealed. And for those who don't believe, by all means, that's totally up. That's that's totally that that I don't even know what to say to to you about that. Especially the leaders of the church. God's going. God's going to literally judge you righteously, and He's going to weigh out them scales and them balances. Yes, He is. And the thing about it is. A lot of these leaders, guess what? Mm, I'm praying. I'm praying. I'm praying. But then we got some leaders that's standing up and I bless you. I bless you. I bless you in the name of Jesus. I bless you. And I pray that God continues to do a tenfold, thousandfold, hundredfold, however fold, as much as God will until the ceiling can't, can't reach no more. That he bless you ten times over, a thousand times, a hundred times over. Just for your obedience alone. It's time to wake up, you guys. It's time to wake up, you guys. It's so much more I can say. It's so much more I can say. Oh, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. With all the deaths that have taken place, why wouldn't you want to know the truth? Since when did we stop asking questions? Since when did we just take somebody else's word for it? Since when did our health not matter as much as we say it did because we're fearful of what's going to happen next? Since when did this become the new norm? All of this, include whatever all of this is to you. Since when? Y'all, we gotta wake up. And we got to pray. Hear me. Y'all, we got to wake up. 
Ola la kaya de 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 be sheke ti ana yala la makasi ti ono oshu tolo lo kosi. Understand that a prophet is not welcome in his own home, in his own home, her own home. Be okay with that, leaders. People may not believe, they may not believe, and that's okay. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, and I will repay every man according to their works. And for those who don't believe, he's going to handle them too. But we still must pray for them even. Because they're still souls. And for those who have taken the jab, received the jab, and you did not have wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, God's not going to hold you accountable. But what I am going to do is I'm going to pray for those people who are unaware of the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of what it really entails. That God reveals them and that God covers them in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. The Bible said that the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous avail of much. And I believe that God can, can do anything and nothing by no means shall harm you in the name of Jesus. From prayers, if your heart's in the right place. And if you want to put your trust in him truly. You guys, I'm your girl, Danny Royal from DannyRoyal.com. I appreciate you all. I just had to hop on and do this video because it was in my soul and it was in my spirit. And I have other videos that I have to do, but I had to get this out while I was in my spirit. God shall have the final say. He shall have the final say. Thank you, Jesus, for doing it now. Thank you, Jesus, for doing it now. You are able. You are worthy, Yeshua HaMashiach. You are all-knowing, almighty, all-powerful. There's no other God before or after you. There may be many gods that may try. They are antichrist. Little antichrist. But God, you're going to do the big reveal. And you're going to have your way in a mighty way. I love you guys so much. Be blessed. And I'll see y'all on the next video. And don't forget to crown up in Jesus' name. I love you guys. Peace.